So for this task, we are going to be creating another flask cap, and then this time we are going to we are going to be using storage that is importing it from models and calling storage to all to retrieve any data that we need from the database. And after at the end of each request, we are going to create a method that is going we are going to decorate with this app dot down contest and inside this method we have to call storage dot close which means at the end of each request we should um, disconnect the database not like disconnect but close the current section and we have to create another file which is for ginger template dot html and if you have h1 tags we should include state and on other list we should be sorted by name that is from ascending order A to Z, and it should has an issue as okay. All the tags should be in capital, and it should be the L1 tag should be in this format as state ID followed by the state dot name. We should be in this B tag, it should be booked. So, as usual, I'm going to copy this, go to web flash direct request it. And I'm going to also copy this part and then go to the template. Let's see then for this template, I'm going to copy this one here and I'm going to come in here and paste it. And I will remove this H1 tag and just put space for now. Okay, maybe I should add the ul and i'll leave it like this for now so and then import flask from flask and also render template also we import since we are going to be doing the state we import what am I writing model dot state we import state also from models import storage and down here we create an instance of the flask cap and then we pass in down down name and i think we are going to first create the tier up dot tear down contest tear down up tear down up contest and then We'll define the function and it's going to take an exception as argument and then down here we call storage dot close so in a flask app, a tear down app contest decorator. This decorator here is used to decorate any function or method that we want to execute at when the application contest is turned down. Like, but in our case, it is for managing the database section for each request. Since our app opens the database section at every request, so it is very crucial to close it at the end of the request. That way, the next request will be a fresh section and have the current updated database data and it would help avoid connection leaks which could cause the failure of our app. If this app keeps getting multiple requests without closing the connections for every request, it can quickly run out of available connections which would cause our database errors and downtime, etc. So that's the importance of having this app the teardown contest decorator. So we are going to go ahead to create a route for this stage and 
the route is going to be states underscore list and since it's, a, it's just a single route here we are going to add this switch with slashes and then set it to false meaning that if a user or a client should add an extra slash here or not no slash no trailing slash it shouldn't throw any error it shouldn't return for for no found and then followed by the function which i'm going to call state list you can call this function anything and it's not going to take an argument and so we are told to use storage dot all storage dot all to retrieve the data from the database and the data we are interested in is the state and i'm going to save this to states and the next thing is to render the template and pass in the states so we are going to do the sorting in the template so i'm going to return render render template and then i'm going to pass in this seven state list seven to seven states underscore list dot html and after that we are going to pass in states which is the key and the value is going to be all of the states that we drew from the database and after that we are going to go sort so we are going okay i think i'm just saying this from flask import and we go to the ginger template and inside here what we are going to first say is um, we are going to use we are going to add some python code in here and for ginger template every python code that is expressions are within inside curly braces followed by this this percentage sign so whatever you any condition or any code you want to write inside this ginger template should be written inside this so i'm going to first say if stays and if you're using a conditional you will always have to come and end it and if and then we go on that is if state is being retrieved what we are going to do is to we are going to iterate through the state so we are going to say for state in state should be for state in state dot what we are interested in is the values and i'm going to come here also I need to be doing this immediately because at times I tend to forget. So I'm going to say end four. And then what we are going to do is we are going to come here and say sort. So in Ginger template, you can equally sort. And this sort is going to take a parameter, which is an attribute. And this attribute is what we want to sort with. And in our case, we want to sort by name. So when we sort by now, we are going to use the L1 tag and it should be in caps LI tag, which is list. And inside this LI tag, we are going to still use the, we are going to use this double curly braces, which is used for displaying values, the single Curly braces with the percentage sign is for writing Python expressions. For here, for displaying variables and values, you use double curly braces. So I'm going to say state for each state. I want to okay. You can use the dot notation or equally you can use the square bracket notation. And we are first to display the ID followed by a colon space, and we are told to put it in the in a bold tag and inside this bold tag we are to equally say state that name okay since i'm already using the square bracket notation i'm going to say name 
So this should should do the work. Now I'll save and we are going to go test our application. Let me bring this down. First I'll close this and then I'll come here. Okay. Before that we are told to I believe We are told to download this SQL dump so we can use it to populate our database. So what this dump is doing is you're using curl and the minus O option is saying whatever output we get from here, we should save it to this seven dump.sql file. So I'm going to copy it, select it, come here and paste it. And if I should open here, we see that we have the file here so when we are next thing is to cut it into a sql database because the file is just if we look here the file is is just creating the user and giving privileges creating tables and here is inserting into cities as well as into states so Sure. So it's not in two states, it's just to populate the database. So here I'm going to do this and I'm going to enter my password. Okay, let's try again. Oh, the reason is because I have to add sudo here. That's how my own system works. So I'm going to enter my password again. And then the second password. And it's done. So the next thing is to now that we've populated our database, we are going to start our Flask app with this command after setting the EMB variables. Um, we're getting this error here, but I think before we look at it, I think I forgot something. Yeah, how could I? So we we're supposed to say if then equals man then have the run and we are to pass in the host it should be 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0 and the port which is 5000 and now let's look at what we get here i'm going to plug this terminal completely so if you look here we are getting this Operational error referencing calling city ID and referencing ID. So that is like foreign key are incompatible. So the reason for this is that um, the reason for this is that in SQL. Uh, let me see, um, I'll open this file so I can be able to explain the reason we're getting this. So, reason for this is just that is SQL Alchemy typically uses a UTF-8 as a default chart set. So, in this application, UTF-8 has been used or will be used to map and create all tables in the database. But if we look at this SQL dump, we are going to see that the table creation is done and here we are, can see that it's saying that the chart set is latin one i think they did this for states and also for cities let's see for cities yeah so they did it for states and cities table the, what this means is that the latin one for state and cities tables um they have that's, that's their default chart set so why the other tables have default chart set as utf is from sql academy this um, 
different chart set is going to introduce incompatibility across all tables, especially since they are all since they all have some kind of relationship with each other. So it would mean that the data retrieved from one table with UTF-8 chart sets might not be displayed properly when displayed alongside data from Latin like, one chart set. So to come back and correct this, what we can do is to completely remove to completely remove okay, I'm not doing it correctly. Complete what's the one? Completely remove this line. If we completely remove this, it's going to solve it and then we can do the dump or what we can do is to modify it to UTF eight. So which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to say UTF eight but we are going to add mb mb4 so if if you're wondering why it is um, mb4 instead of just utf is the reason is because before um, sql alchemy version that is before um, before my sql version i think is version 5.8 the chart set was called utf8 but it did not really have all the characters that should be in a completed UTF-8. So from version 5.6 and above, so they decided to complete it, but instead of calling it UTF-8 again, they just called it UTF-8 MB4, like saying that this one is complete. Yeah, so SQL came UTF-8 is the same with my SQL UTF-8 MB4, but SQL Alchemy UTF-8 is not the same with my SQL UTF-8. So with this correction, we can go ahead and do the same for the states. And I save it and I'm going to come here and I'll cut this. Because after changing this, we have to cut it into the MySQL server all over again. And then I'm going to try to start the flask up again. And we shouldn't get that error anymore. So we see that our flask up started successfully. So the next is to come here and we're going to try to test. I'm going to open another terminal for this. And if I call the internal server error. Let me see. So guys, but attribute. Okay, this should be should be attribute and not attributes. So I guess I have to restart. And again, I'll go to this terminal and we try to call again. I will see that we are getting the L tag, L1, LI tag, and B tag. And let's see if we are really starting this. Upload the terminal. So we see that we're starting from, let me go up a bit more. We're starting from Alabama, Arizona, California. And so we see that it's completely started. Where else? So we need to see something else. Let's see. Okay. I think that does it for this task.